Um, also, I want to mention, because I did see someone post in the comments when we were talking about topic clusters, they said, to be honest, I don't care what I write about, just want to find the gems that people care about. And I think that this is a slippery slope when you have that mentality going into creating content. If you are starting a blog or trying to create content just to get traffic, but you don't have a focus that you care about, you're going to be chasing all these different random topics that have nothing to do with each other. And because the topics are so random, it's really difficult to then get a high domain authority and build up your credibility and improve your SEO performance on specific topics. This is why it's so important to focus on a niche and figure out, you know, what is a topic that you care about? What is a topic that you're passionate about, that you're knowledgeable in, and that you know you can help people? So focus on, you know, figuring out that niche, what matters to you. I mean, I've had tons of blog ideas. In the past, I was, you know, blogging about, and posting stuff on social media about like yoga and fitness. And then it kind of turned into um, goal setting and self-discipline because that was something um, I'm really passionate about. And it took me a while to figure out that, okay, well, these are passions of mine, but they're not stuff that I want to create content on. But educating people about blockchain and NFTs and what Web3 is and how it's going to impact your lives in the future, those are things that I'm really passionate about and that I enjoy creating content on and that people are searching for. So I think you need to always start with who do you care about helping and what are you knowledgeable in? Because if you are just trying to write content based on what people are searching for, but it's not stuff that you have any expertise in, then you're going to, I mean, one, either you spend all your time researching and learning about it on your own, which takes a lot of time, or people try to rely on tools like Brainwork and other AI writers to do all of the work for them by doing the research and writing the content. But then that content doesn't rank well because they're not able to go back and add your own ex expertise and experience and opinions. And this is what's really important to understand about if you are using AI writers you need to use them to do just kind of the first bit of getting you to that point of starting off the blog post, getting the first draft written. But then it's up to you to add your expertise, your your own, find your own research sources, add your own experience, your own opinions. And that is what um, makes your content valuable and reputable in the eyes of Google so that that way your content will have a higher likelihood of ranking. Because if you're just spitting out content, um, that other people are talking about and you don't have your own experience, it's going to be really difficult to build um, your traffic for that as well as building an audience. End of rant. <laughs> well said, well said. Um, I have nothing to add to that. That was a uh, preach, preach, preach.